Hi guys, so I'm here to review the final couple of volumes in this binder of Orange. This is Orange A Complete Collection Volume 2 by Ichigo Takano. I wasn't too sure if there was any more to this, but it is just two big bind ups like this. I think overall, if I remember correctly, individually there's, individually, sorry, there's like six or seven volumes. Um, so it's actually quite short for a manga series. I don't know if it's just because of the genre. Is, is this how would you call it like a slice of life novel i don't know if they differentiate because i know obviously like things like naruto and like all those action ones tend to go on forever um but maybe because it is more of a you know delicate every day in an extent you know sort of story it's just a short one i'm rambling anyway so i have reviewed the first big wind up like this um, back in February I want to say but i will link the first um video up here for you i will say um where this is a bind up, I'm obviously kind of reviewing the whole of the latter part of the series and I don't really know where one volume ends and the next one starts so for me it will be blurred just because I read it all as, as one if that makes sense. So I probably suggest to watch this after you've at least read the first half of the series and maybe even if you've read this to completion um, check this out because I don't want to accidentally spoil anything for you but I think what I've got to say is not spoilery. Um, but anyway, so let me read the synopsis off of this side. So this says, um, Neho, I, I do apologise if I'm pronouncing any of the names wrong, but this is how I've been reading them in my head, so I, I'm probably wrong anyway. Neho immediately feels a connection to the new boy who is transferred to her class. Kakaru is calm, kind, and seems to like Neho as well. But the relationship gets thrown through a loop. Um, when Neho receives a letter from the future. The letter explains that Kakari will die unless Neho it does exactly as the letter says. But, exchange, but changing fate is no easy task. When the letter starts to get things wrong, Neho worries she will still lose Kakari forever. Luckily, Neho and her friend has her friends to back her up. Not only do they want to see Neho and Kakari to get together, they also have time travelling letters of their own. So I actually wanted to discuss a little bit more about the time travelling because obviously I didn't want to spoil anything in that first video but I feel like if you've read this far into the series you know about it and i will say it's a very interesting aspect to having this because otherwise it would be like a slice of life um uh, highlighting sort of struggling topics that we kind of need to talk about um oh yeah there is obviously trigger warnings i feel like you should know this by now if you're watching this review specifically but obviously trigger warnings for suicide and things of that nature um so yeah it's an emotional one but the sci-fi element added about time traveling letters just makes it that that much more unique which i think is really really cool i think i would have liked more explanation about that in a way i feel like that aspect was kind of in the background just to kind of spur the main story on but i i was interested i wanted to know more about that we did have um hajita talk a little bit about that at some point but it just it wasn't as in depth for me as i would have liked because i like to understand the logistics of things but that's just me as a picky reader other than that the story was beautiful um i think as with the first one i gave this a four stars in the end um i did enjoy it so I just thought it was a really beautiful um, continuation and ending of the story. It was easy to get back into the, the world of these characters. I was really excited to get back to them actually because I had already like established a connection with them back when I read the first collection and I really did like adore them. So it was easy to fall back into step with the characters um, and kind of see how else they went about trying to save Kakaru um, and how the letters helped as well. Um, interesting sort of dynamic with them varying of course obviously having issues perhaps changing possible futures i thought that was really interesting again i would have liked more explanation on that i don't know if i explained that very well sorry <laughs> the irony of wanting more explanation but myself not explaining anything very well <laughs> um i didn't cry but i did get really emotional again with this and it was just oh, I just really enjoyed the ending. I was really satisfied um, with how the story concluded and I really loved all the characters. I will say though, I did find myself getting a little bit annoyed at Neho just because I just find her personality to be so feeble that sometimes it's annoying. I Don't get me wrong, I still find her absolutely like endearing and adorable. But for a girl, what, how old are they, 16, 17? I just I don't understand how she can be so like 
innocent and naive in her mind like I can understand to an extent but the fact that she was so painfully shy to just say what she needed to say it bothered me and I don't want that to come across as harsh just because I know there are people in the world like that but I guess reading from that perspective obviously her main perspective she's like the main character you are kind of watching if that makes sense as well as Kakaru it just it got to me a little bit it just got under my skin but nevertheless I still thought she was a fantastic character I love that we read mostly from her sort of point of view in a way um and that it was mainly about her and Kakaru but obviously the other characters were awesome as well I did actually worry that um oh, I can't remember his name what's his name this guy I can't remember this one here I worried that obviously with changing the course of events to save Kakaru I was worried that he would be affected in some way um so I kind of had that apprehension in my mind throughout the whole thing which bothered me um but no I am satisfied with how with how the story sort of unfolded as well so there is a middle portion um that I found a little bit confusing uh, I don't want to get too much into depth but basically the characters were talking about Christmas Eve plans and obviously there was something around there that was quite important but then I got confused because they started in that same conversation talking about New Year's Eve but I thought they just accidentally said New Year's Eve instead of Christmas Eve and then I don't know I just got so confused because then we had both events and I was like what? what? <laughs> I was just really really baffled it was just this middle portion that I couldn't quite grip and in that same portion we had like this section I can only describe as some sort of flashback but I don't know man it like really confused me and I, I was really hazy throughout that whole portion I don't want to go too much into depth I have explained it a little bit more in my Goodreads review if you do want to read that but I don't want to spoil it in case anybody hasn't like read this bind up version uh, volume sorry but yeah nevertheless it was an awesome wrap up to the story it's one of those kind of stories that on the back it's described as an epic love story across time and yeah I guess it is that but there's more than just love it's like a deep rooted friendship like no matter how it affects their future selves in this present time right now all they're focused on is saving Kakaru and making sure he feels loved in this world and that he lives a happy long life and I thought that was such a beautiful message I thought it was executed in the story so perfectly and it's just really emotional I think I will come back to this story time and time again I don't often reread books these days but it's one of those ones that I would pick up and just read through it and just enjoy it I really want to check out the anime now see how it compares perhaps I'll do a review of the anime if you guys are interested um, but yeah this is such a beautiful story also at the back of this particular edition we have a mini story um, it's for a a manga called Haruro Astronaut and it's about these two twins um, basically it's like a little sort of love story I'm still learning the terms I, I, is it a shona? Oh, don't I'm not even going to butcher the terms I should look it up but I can't be bothered right now um, and yeah it's I'm assuming another oh I thought it was going to be another series um, by this same author but it was just a short story and reading the couple of chapters that it is I, I quite enjoyed it actually I, I wouldn't have thought that I would want to carry on but I would have carried on if I had, if it had been longer if you know what I mean if there was like other volumes to pick up but yeah unfortunately it's just a short story um, but it was it was entertaining it was just it was a bit shallow though um, but it was fun but yes anyway before I continue rambling even more and begin to not make any more sense I will leave you with that let me know what you think of orange and what it means to you and I will speak to you in another video soon. Bye!